to the LEC as Rogue defeats Mad Lions with an absolute dominant performance. And inspired, I have so many questions about the game, but first one, how was this game for you? It, did it feel as easy as it was for us as viewers? Um, yeah, it, it felt pretty easy because uh, I didn't feel like opponents did uh, many plays. They were just playing very safe and waiting for us to do to do something. And then uh, at eight minutes, they like uh, rotated five people to Herald. Uh, and we just knew that if we just keep farming, we will be way stronger because they, they gave up a lot of resources there. And uh, then we just played slow, collect the drakes and just wait for a good engage for us. Interesting. Okay, I want to challenge your opinion on something because when you look at the early game, it looks like Mad Lions tried a lot of stuff actually. Um, they weren't very successful at doing so. Uh, can you identify maybe some crucial mistakes from Mad Lions that gave you the edge in the end in the early game? Mm, I think they would have to play more aggressive with their jungle matchup. I feel like Kindred Syndra is way stronger than than Jarvan and Azir in the early game, so they can look to like invade us somewhere or force the fights around mid. But they didn't do any of those, so it was pretty comfortable for us to just farm and and play the game later when our champs are becoming stronger. All right, well, just waiting for your time then. But um, you mentioned the Kindred with Alioya, which is interesting because he brought this new pick into the jungle. And we changed patch this week. I know that this patch brought a lot of changes, especially in the jungle with the Talia, the Pantheon, the Olaf with the God Drinker, uh, dropping in pick rate, actually. So what do you think of the landscape of the jungle right now? Mm. I still think the champs, the champ like Olaf and Talia, are not uh, not unplayable. I think you can still play them, but now they are actually balanced, not like uh, before when they were really OP. They were farming too fast, dealing too much damage, healing so much. Now you can play them, but they are actually they actually have a counterplay. And uh, I don't really think that Kindred is a playable champ. I think Kindred is pretty bad currently, and that's why no one really plays her. Mm -hmm. And I was pretty surprised when they picked it, but I think they just wanted to pick AD jungle and they didn't really have many options, so they went for Kindred. Interesting. We'll see, we'll see what the desk thinks about these Kindred picks later. But uh, OK, I have one last question for you about the match of the week, obviously, because you'll be playing G2 tomorrow. We just saw them play earlier against Misfits. I just want to have your take on G2 this year overall and how strong do they look, according to you? Mm, I mean, even if they don't look strong, I think G2 is always a strong team. Even if they have like some sloppy games, uh, you know that they will perform when the game will actually matter. So I think uh, I think they are still a very very good team, even though they I guess they got two two lost games. I think they lost two games. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I think they are very very stable team, and it's always always like hard to play against them because they are pretty aggressive, but they also make calculated plays. So. It will be will be a fun game against them, but I think if we'll play as well as we are doing so far, we can we can beat them. I trust you on that, and it will be a fun game for sure. Inspired, thank you so much for the interview, and good luck for the match of the week tomorrow. Thank you. You're very welcome, and back to you, Shox. Thank you.